hi hello hi hello so today's video will be amazing because i will speak about something very interesting it's going to be mostly about men and adult photography about men so what can i say yesterday yesterday i got a phone call from one lady and like i told you before that people will find me for a very unique and special photography project okay and one of these projects yesterday was that the lady uh, was looking for a studio and a photographer boudoir studio and a photographer to actually uh, um, make this um, like a photo shoot you know so she has a client and she asked me to teach her boudoir photography in 30 minutes. She never stepped a foot in the studio. She don't know anything about photography. And I was so laughing because the previous video I just made about the quick takes. You know, now everything online, people are studying and doing something. And they want, you know, like that. They want to learn everything very quickly you know and they want to be professionals at everything very quickly and, and uh, yeah the problem is that you know i remember my someone was saying you know that only the cats give birth quickly you know and that's the problem with nowadays and our society but i just thought it's going to be a challenge for me so what can i say she has a client a man, wealthy client who is uh, going through uh, a series of sessions with her. And those series of sessions involve developing his sexuality. And what do you think what he is doing, doing during those sessions? He is developing his uh, erection to hold an erection. And that lady who treating him or doing those sessions with him um figured it out that uh, the last session as a successful uh, to show a successful result has to be recorded you know on camera and on film doesn't matter but this is the final stage of their therapy right and her name was really fancy i don't know some kind of a therapy she, i i even don't know if this uh, how to say thing um it just probably started because i never heard of such a thing right and she was absolutely sweet you know like a geisha style because the way she sounded the way she spoke and the way she was i, I checked the picture smiling and i can realize that she, of course her sessions will be uh, something special you know and um, and i was just curious i was curious for this reason first i wanted to tell you this story that these things happening right now okay the second of all i know that this is a huge problem with men the erection because what happened through through our lifetime is that the older we get the everything is breaking and not working in your body that's kind of a mindset you are going to okay so i know many people that think this way that the older you get or the menopause will hit the hormonal balance will ruin you and destroy you as a person or the older you get you would not be able to have an erection and not able to have a sexual life not able to do sort of things and stuff and that is a myth to be fair and that's why those guys who are going for such services uh, and even my photo shoot can, can be the proof that this is the reason why they're looking for a solution, why they're looking for the answer to this problem, okay? How they can last this thing, how can they work with their body, okay? Because at that moment, when people are failing, they understand that their body not listening to them and they are not in charge okay and they know that there are reasons behind it and then they feel that they can fix this okay 
what probably happens in this therapy and it's so you know so lame maybe but uh, all these sessions what involved nudity and uh, how to say erections was, was called you know like um, prostitution or whatever women who were doing something like that then it becomes an escort then becomes a different kind of dating and now it becomes into this when she is saying to me that she is helping him in all the ways i don't know how she's helping okay but she is helping him to develop this erection and she is i don't know i don't think she's talking him into it you know there is something else involved but she is not having sex or anything right and that is the difference and i've and I've kind of realized that he, that guy would be in the prison of this beautiful geisha lady who's speaking in the certain voice and he would be looking for the certain type of the woman because she's kind of like coding him. It's like, um, it's like a development, de 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 developing a development to a certain type. Okay, so my photo shoots are a totally different experience. Yes, they are related to the thing that people, uh, men I'm talking about, yes, uh, women also have problems uh, with masturbation and head getting into, uh, how to say, arousal zone and, 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 and just, uh, uh, how to say, acknowledging what's happening with their bodies, but I'm not talking in this video about this. I'm specifically talking about uh, men. I'm just letting you know, it's not that only men have this issue, right? It's just, just not possible, right? So I'm speaking uh, specifically about men, and I can tell you this, because I had a lot of clients. The, the difference between that lady who is helping them and me is that I'm not helping. Okay, and now I realize why, because there is a lot of guys who would call and who would text and who would uh, write me a certain emails, not actually telling me about my service, but asking a lot of questions like how exactly you interact, how exactly this photo shoot going. They want to know the details, how I'm helping, how I am interacting, what I am doing. And I always was thinking, why is it those questions coming out? Am I stupid or something, right? He is literally asking me to help him during this erection situation, right? And, and, and the process, okay? And I did not, did not understand where is it going. So here we go. This lady is calling me and booking a session and asking me to teach her, be a quick fix, a boudoir session she explained to me what kind of a body type he has okay and that they developed uh, this erection through time and he is able now to to have this process and action and hold it and he would like to capture it as a big sizes as possible and of course he doesn't want anyone uh, to be in there because he would lose his erection straight away okay and that is is the th thing what I'm saying to you. This is not a therapy, it's like a development, uh, uh, um, development, a so specific code, okay, which will be recognized or associated with this therapist, with this lady. Because when he will see this type, he will think that this lady will uh, represent that uh, situation and it can cause and direction. And of course it will. Okay, but I would never do this to any man. Okay, in my photo shoot, when I call this a, a gig, a, a package, a come shot, right? And it's not necessarily, it is always a, a successful shoot. Okay, but we go through the stages where the guy is with himself. Okay trying many things many poses many lighting ideas many accessories clothes we create situations okay because how it is usually there is something that inflicts the block in their in their head and it not necessarily have to be a person but usually it is a stranger when there is something it just blocks inside of them and they cannot do it they can they they can uh, how to say succeed 
to uh, an enormous size or whatever the size they want when they buy themselves. But when it comes uh, uh, to that situation, taking a picture or taking a video, you know, or doing this in front of someone or doing this with the stranger, they fail. Okay, and you can recognize later those guys because they would not uh, pursue the, 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 the sexual um, relationship. They will be more romantic. They will be more, uh, how to say, caring and pleasing and more out there for you, okay, to get that security, that stability for them, okay? And, it, and, and that relationship uh, goes at the start really slowly because you would think well why he doesn't want you know why he doesn't want to do this or this i am so sexy i am so hot you know and he doesn't the reason why because he have this issue with his erection and so there are people now ladies okay who do not call this as a dating escort or whatever i don't know this is a very fancy name she told me how she called herself okay and i was just like thinking oh my gosh can you believe this i am having this situation for real so she is coming to learn a very quick boudoir shoot and that will be a challenge for me and when i say this challenge i said if you are going to be really stupid and that's why the guy cannot have an erection with me because I'm very sharp, you know, I'm very strict and I'm very harsh, you know, because of, um, I don't want them to go into this uh, sugar, you know, side. I want them to understand that reality, okay, reality is not a sugar coated, okay, reality is that they s supposed to have an erection if they fancy someone and if they tell their body okay and tell their brain that this is time to have it you know and and this is the person which i want to have it and that person doesn't have to do those uh, special tricks or something it is have to be in him okay so my photo shoots are totally different i am helping in a different way okay i'm leaving that person with himself to solve those problems with himself and using a lot of uh, tools or things that he can uh, he can use later and associate later but it is not a personality okay it is not a geisha like look i'm not, i never like that you know i'm I, I am very real and i'm very strict and i i can see very often okay guys coming to have a a, a come shot an erection photo shoot for that reason that they want to capture this because they think it's not going to last for long and the body is getting old and everything is getting old and and this is a challenge for them and it's not like they want to show off but they want to memorize it okay they want to have this data okay for later i mean they will use those pictures we will have a great shot and stuff but many of them are confident or happy about um, their look and 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 their um intimate situation right but the thing is that majority are totally in a different um, reality okay and there are a lot of factors we, would would help them and there are a lot of factors we will put them off and it's just clear to me that this is not uh, something that they are in control of and of course they need help and this type of therapy how this tantric how does Tantra develop? That's the biggest thing what can uh, help them to prolong, to hold, to, 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 how to say, to be in this situation, to feel this situation, to, to, how to say, to, 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 to manage that arousal, like literally manage arousal, okay? And when I am doing something, changing the lens or changing the lights, they are having that time to hold on because that's what I say them to do. And that's how they hold their challenge, okay? And this is not easy. And when they come to photo shoot uh, something like that, when it end up with the come shot, it is also a totally different setup. It is a totally different, how to say, situation. If you can start, for example, from the really, how to say, 
simple boudoir shots when you are in a distance let's say if the person is really shy okay you keep the distance you don't be close to him you don't make him nervous okay at the start but then you have to come closer and closer to have that come shot unless you have this tele lens you know and you will be standing on the side of the studio but the whole point of this session is to bring that person closer to you Okay, and that he would know that he is in control, that he can do this, and that he can do this well, and that he can lead, okay, how to say, and 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 uh, be aware of my guidance, and, and he can do the things what I'm saying him to do, because it is very hard to make an erection shot when the person is not able to do an erection. Okay, so how you go to the Z if you need to start from the A and just start from the A and then realize what what this A is, what he needs to do. Maybe he needs to, to watch, you know, some sexy pictures, you know, maybe on his phone. Maybe he needs to, 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 to touch the underwear, you know, or do something or see something like that. And then you dig and dig and dig with that person what that is for him that is a photo shoot it is not photo shoot uh, erotic nudity photo shoot for people who you watch they failing to 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 be in this process and they nervous and they scared and they getting more ashamed and embarrassed this is not what it is you know and it is not only photo shoot for people who are absolutely brave have a huge size and they want to just show off i can tell you one story what happened to me I had this model, he was an actor, and he had a huge, beautiful size, a huge, beautiful size. And I always at that time was tracking my analytics, you know, analytics, the views. And I remember I thought, oh, my gosh, that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing he has. Let me put this on the banner and, and just show straight away the first thing when the people will arrive to my uh, website and see it the first thing and i thought this is a great idea i'll just put them this thing into the face and because my website is visited mostly by the male audience you would not believe this in that week how many people got put off and how much it get the drop down <laughs> to the views i could not realize what happened what what i did at that day you know when you have this thing you know like a, frame going up, 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 and then it goes down and you think, um, am I posted something wrong? Am I, you know, something, I check my blogs, nothing, nothing is unusual. And then I realize that people get put off because what they think and majority of men say to me is this, I am not that model and I don't have a big size and I am not this and I'm not that. It's like, I am just selecting them and choosing them and, and showing only them. And that is a very big, uh, how to say, lesson to me. Because to be fair, what I need to be showing is only those uncomfortable, ashamed and shy people who are majority and who are real clients and who are the, there to show their problem. But I wanted at that time to make my website beautiful, okay? And I was absolutely, how to say, mesmerized by those hot, sexy models, okay? I was just displaying all these perfect people, okay? And they, they still, some of them are on, on my website, but it's because my photography gets better, you know, with time. So they look now amazing, okay? But that is the very big issue and the problem. And why guys have this problem? I think because men didn't raise them. Majority of men, the, the generation, been raised by the ladies. And I don't want to tell this word, but they are pussies. Okay, that's why they think that something is wrong with them. That's why they are not tough. That's why they think they are not in control. That's why there is some, someone else to blame. And that's why now they realize that actually it's time to sort this issue. And if this guy who is coming for the shoot for that, uh, like a fake uh, boudoir shoot, but in the real boudoir studio, right? 
to have this atmosphere and to have this like like real stuff i would need to train that person to make those shots she actually told me exactly what he wants okay and so i will try my best and do it and i said this is very risky and the lady said she said that this is me who's risking i said what if i cannot explain you enough because when I'm doing photography, it's like you being in the kitchen. And you know, it's like being in the world kitchen. It's not like one English kitchen when there is, I don't know, Sunday roast and, and uh, whatever, you have some pies or, 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 you know, limited kitchen, okay? Very limited kitchen is English kitchen, okay? And there are many kitchens which are much more wider. There is a lot of flavors. There is a lot of textures, colors. And, and imagine you are a master chef. I am. Okay, and you are uh, able to play with all these around the world coming spices and stuff. And then someone is coming and saying, I need, okay, a few shots in this and this. And please teach me to do it quick and well. And so you need to strip off. You need to strip off. And it's like a bread and like, you know, butter and toast. You know, and that is my personality. I strive to do the best recipe, the most complicated, the most this. And, and when I have this, for example, a client and he says, okay, I have this problem or I would like to try this. I already put a million layers on there, what I can do, okay, and how I can do this. And, and people who are shooting in my studio, they understand that I am doing this. Okay, I am not the one who is, you know, putting a camera on that on tripod, uh, smoking some, uh, 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 I don't know, this, uh, I'm not saying real cigarette, but there are these electronic cigarettes sitting and just, you know, taking some shots next, taking shots. It's, this is not a conveyor experience. I am feeling at that moment that I am creating art and I want to take that moment take that person and do my best. And of course, when I think about that, I want to charge for that exclusive, unique, special artwork. And imagine when coming people to your door and they have this, this absolutely basic, simple ideas where I have to forget everything what I learned in 10 years and go back to, to class A, you know? If you like graduated and you are, you know, on master's degree now, you need to forget everything and go back to, you know, pr to, to primary school and, and think that this is it. You know, this is exactly what you need to do. That's how you would need to set up. Can I do the quick fix? Can I teach the person in the studio to use lights and make a boudoir images? Yes to use lights yes i can do i can show them how to use two lights okay and one light uh, you know I, I i will use three lights okay but i will explain how to use one two and three in the basic combinations but what i said to this lady i said to her one thing i'm not giving you my camera no 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 first of all it's too expensive I mean, that time when I bought is expensive. Now there are many more expensive cameras and, and stuff. But I am just saying, because if you break a, a light, for example, right? In the light, when there's a flashlight, there are two bulbs, okay? And one bulb is between 70 and 150 pounds, okay? Depending on what kind of the power of the light, what kind of um, brand you have and what kind of whatever. But I shoot in multiple German, okay? Very rare, but in Europe, very popular, okay? And I said to her, well, you use, uh, maybe you better use a window and do this with the window and, and, and hire a hotel and stuff. She said, no, no, this client is very posh. She would like to be in the studio, this atmosphere. She wants to change something. She wants to add to to that project which she is doing the gig. That's fine, okay? I can teach her in 30 minutes to use lighting and basic combinations. I cannot teach how to use camera manually. You can set it up, okay? 
you can explain how to hold okay i usually when i hold the camera i usually how to say uh, try to be as stable as possible okay because my hammer is heavy two kgs and more you know depending on the lens so i have the first thing what i would just say is stability of your hand it, it has to be close and i'm always you know elbow in my body so then i can just you know do the uh, depending on the movement i want okay so i can tell certain things okay but then she heard about the camera she decided to shoot on the phone okay but that will be a good enough because on the phone what you need to do is just to clean well your uh, cameras okay and it will improve the quality so what can i tell you is that these people who will come to have a nude photography and some kind of an interaction like i told you now okay and this is developing into like this is developing into a problem solving because they're paying a lot of money okay but what it does to them it actually gives them result when they are with a woman okay it gives them more satisfaction during that intercourse during the making love scene scenarios they have okay they are not so afraid you know it doesn't sometimes it have to be just a bed you know and in the night you know and some people cannot perform because it's a daylight you know or cannot perform because it's somewhere else you know there are so many things okay and which we do not understand like women okay but i'm saying if the man will be raising those boys we will have less of the situation uh, right now men like this that's for sure okay that's just the big uh, that's a that's just a big impact it has um, i can tell you this on men okay that's why we we're dealing with this situation right now okay but what can i say quick fix that's what people are after and if they can perform that's fine okay if they cannot perform they need few two three sessions or more but however it is very effective okay because thinking about is doing by yourself or going to therapist and talking about this this is bullshit okay it's just very slow results and you know what i'm not i cannot guarantee if it happened or not but doing something like that yes it will give you results and the thing is that this self-control okay gives you that power later to do other things and other actions not only pull or talk to the lady or come closer to the lady or go into the contact with the lady or have a proper sex as much as she likes not as much as he can you know because usually he can't you know he just lasts five minutes and then game over you know and he can't it's not just because he doesn't want it's because he can't okay and that's how he needs to train himself as a muscle we're training our brain now as a muscle okay yeah to work right so this place is also need to be trained but uh, it get wired in here okay the starting is <laughs> starting is in here okay regardless to what you say okay the blocks are in in our computer in our generator okay the main idea generator and it starts from ideas and it starts from thinking and that's uh, that's the photography where we'll come in so this session when you have a proper erection or manage to have a proper erection shots if you have it um, captured in a photography format it will give them a, a clear indication a clear data how big how fake how it it did happen that he, it can happen it just gives him the stability okay it gives him the information that actually i can do it and actually it's a problem and i need to resolve it no one else it will do it for me not this therapist will talk with me and do it for me no he actually needs to take himself into this situation with that person who will help him and lead him whatever uh, he would like but he will be able to cure himself from from this disbelief you know and from this uh, failure 
okay because that's that's sort of a failure and that failure no matter how you would try and pretend and act and um, hide you cannot hide from yourself that's the, the the scariest thing you can hide from everyone else but you cannot hide from yourself and there will be moments when you by yourself you will be facing the truth sooner or later so you know some people are going into a really long time thinking and getting really long uh, old to understand and realize and some people young and they can do it i had a very young client who was coming quite often and he evolved he changed he did so much about himself oh my gosh and the last photo shoot we have he was like this standing from a pussy guy okay he went to do this you know he started doing things and he started thinking he says i'm going into politics now i'm doing this i'm thinking to do that i'm so you know what this this is not just um, finishes in the bed okay the satisfaction of the woman this is not only about that it is in general changing your angle and perspective about yourself about your body and about who is in charge at the end of the day okay and if you stop blaming yourself or, or, and try to get out of the situation you put yourself in or okay maybe someone else put it maybe some circumstances maybe you seriously had a, a, an abuse from some woman or you know your mother or, or someone else or or whatever okay maybe there are serious reasons someone to blame but this is the thing the therapy is the thing that you need to move on and develop new neurons to the new beginning where your erection is lasting not going past when you cannot do this okay because uh, that's not the therapy just th that just sharing and talking about your problems you know and so what and finding the person who will support you at that moment but there will be no action taken and there will be no going forward or if it will be going forward you will reach it when it will be too late and you will be not able to enjoy your life because the time what we have here is limited okay so that is why it is so important to understand the the power of photography and majority of men have this issue and if you have a man who has this issue or even not okay this is how you can support your partner your husband your boyfriend if you're watching this you say okay you know what your thing is so amazing it is so this and this let me take a picture of this and i will be you know thinking about it and there will be something to remember everyone will appreciate okay so what i'm saying is to you this is a new thing a nude photography for men it is absolutely related with their uh, insecurities absolutely related with their insecurities and one of the biggest insecurities for men in nude photography is erection or not not able to to hold an erection okay and that's it what can i say and now i can announce you that there are ways how to finish this okay and not only me doing this in a photography but there are other people who are working on this and they somehow are even able to find me and even let me know that there are uh, you know how to say other professionals or people who are going into this field to become a professionals and you know how to say you help one person then you can get a referral and you can have another man but what it means what it means the erection and the, how to say um, to being com comfortable with yourself and confident is everything for men is everything for men okay it, it reflects in their life in their reac reactions actions and in in their connections okay so what can i say guys are the best clients the best clients they never complain they never lay they never have this 
you know how to say well the ladies will go crazy about the wrinkles oh is the wrinkle in there or this or you know the dress is something or that or that you know there is a lot of problems and i can tell you because i am that person who cares about all those small things it's not even a cares i am i am sick with this i have this problem okay so guys for me are the perfect clients absolutely what is a different issue with them that they have big fantasies the guys want to dream big okay and they want to try enormous thing they want to shoot with two models they want to have this video they want to have that you know and they they dream big they 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 want to participate in those fantasies and very often the budget cannot afford to carry those fantasies to the end okay so the starting point there is the will and the wish is there okay and they want to feel the superstars and they want to feel the movie stars adult movie stars okay everything is there okay but then suddenly because i had a lot of guys who cannot afford adult photography and they had amazing fantasies which they would like to fulfill and like i tell you all these fantasies to create you need an experience and they are costly they are costly and then they book the shoot and then they think oh fuck, i better do this and that and 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 they cancel it they cancel it for one reason first okay it, it, it the price is waiting for them they do not realize what kind of a effect they will have you know by creating this fantasy they do not realize they cannot even imagine what will do to them to their life because this is something what they've been thinking for for 10 for 20 for 30 years okay to create this fantasy it's not like yesterday's dream okay some of them are seriously wishing and planning and preparing and 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 have a certain specific ideas of, of the thing and it is mean a huge world to them you know to make this thing i remember one guy <clears throat> had this fantasy which was the devil devil sorry devil and the angel fantasy devil and angel fantasy with two hot models and he rang me and he paid the deposit and then he dis rang me to discuss the outfits okay angel and the devil outfits and i'm saying what would you like to discuss and he says i want a very big uh, white wings uh, in in the shot you know like those you know there are angel big white wings and i can tell you i have very small ones you know like I mean, like, I'm like telling him, are you serious? And he's like, yeah, if I'm paying for the shoot, I expect that studio will have those wings. This is an adult studio, I'm telling him, okay? People, adults only, okay? Singles or couples come to have a sexy photo shoot, okay? And I said to him, you know what? In 10 years, no one wanted to make out in this angel wings, you know? No one and you are the only one and because this is your fantasy and this is a signature session okay you are buying those wings or we are shooting with the you know with the fake ones whatever that's how i am okay but seriously i can tell you there are so many guys who would go into details and have those things and stuff i mean i have a lot of things and uh, and uh, accessories and and props uh, plenty of everything but i can't have every fantasy uh, detail in my studio because it will be a warehouse you know where i will store everything okay i just have those uh, usual necessary popular you know how to say that kind of a stuff okay n n and seriously, no one wanted to make love in, in those wings before. I mean, maybe it is cool, you know, but we we couldn't get it because probably he thought it's, it's expensive. I start looking, you know, for them. So what I'm saying, there are very big fantasies and the guys, you know, like buying too big shoes, you know, they are falling out or they are too small or too small shoes. They cannot fit in. Okay. Or the, another problem is when you're shooting a, 
erotic photography with guys and they have so many ideas. It's like they think that they're coming once, so they're going to do everything in one go, you know, like everything. And I am fine when you're going to Chinese buffet and there is a, a lot of dishes and you have a big tummy and you, you, you can eat a lot. You can put a lot of and you can try all the meals and, and, and stuff. But imagine me, okay, who I can shoot per, you know, session up to 10 scenarios. And I am already knackered, tired to set it up everything because what I'm doing is it's not like I'm setting one light and then shooting different outfits and poses and stuff. I'm not doing that, okay? For me, it means a creation from zero from start to finish, every set, every outfit. This is important to me. It's not that I want, you know, how to say, to, to make myself more tired, but that's how it is. You know, some people, some photographers, the studios make this set up to make it convey busy and make them money. They do not care about these changes, these lightings, the settings, the shooting on the same thing at the same time. This is how business works, you know? This is how it works. They know the best setting, what sells, okay? They know the, the variation of the light, what they're using. One, two options go, you know? There is no thinking about, oh, can you do this? Can you do that? And that's how my studio is different because people think that I can recreate anything, you know, like create anything and they're right. You know, I am putting my best and putting everything into it. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. There are people with the huge fantasies, with the huge scenarios, with the biggest lists and you name it, you know, and some of them, they just can't afford it. I'm sorry, but they just can't afford it. But still, I can tell you the guys I love, they are the best clients. I would like to have them more because they are, they're not a headache. You know, they're easy to follow. They're easy to get an advice. They're easy to chat with. Okay. And they usually have less, you know, problems and things to tell. And we're just having a great time. And you know, actually just having fun. So what I'm saying is that my clients can have an erotic shoot, romantic shoot, like escort shoot, doudoir shoot, like boudoir shoot, right? Nude shoot, explicit shoot, and then even go into that therapy thing. But that's a totally different thing. You know, people think that they can come and have a photo shoot, outfits, this and this, and then do a, a come short project usually i separate them because people who wants to do a come short they want to concentrate especially for that you know they want to do a nude photography they want to prepare for this you know and then they have a specific idea so i will advise how is it best and we need to talk about this because majority of them like i say they have issues with erection and they want to photograph it to help themselves to get rid of this problem, to leave this problem behind. And photography is one of the things where you are uncomfortable when you going into a challenge, when you are nervous and um, how to say, not sure if it's gonna happen to you, okay? This is not the same like going to see a sexual therapist. You just talk about it. I don't really speak much there you know about the sexual problems they have we just have some fun i ask some questions we we do this we do that but i know what is the issue because i see it okay i don't need to ask him what is issue with his erection because he cannot get one when he's naked okay so i don't need to talk about this right then i'm trying to get out of this situation okay and make this uh, photography experience much easier for him because my goal is to have a successful shoot okay my goal is to make him uh, how to say be in that environment which he usually is to create that situation right that will help him in the future to be the guy he wants to be and the guys are lovely people i'm telling you lovely people 
And now this uh, services have expanded to the point that they do not have to be themselves. Before it was Tantra. Tantric specialists, I hard, I, I, how to say, I advise, okay? If you have this problem, go first uh, star, start Tantric because the Tantric lady will help you. I have one Tantric lady working with me. I ask for the guy. If he has a problem with erection, I always advise the Tantric lady to come and help him because it works every time. I didn't have a single shoot without direction or come shot when when the tantric lady was there. She knows what to do. She knows how to, you know, how to do it. And that's what they need to do. They need to get help with her, okay? Understand what's going on during that session, capture everything, okay? And give that data information put into your computer that you are able, that you are under this pressure, that you are doing this and you are doing that and you are performing that well, okay? And that is the proof what they need in their life to understand, to understand what's happening and that's what in, improve everything. It straight away improve the relationship and straight away if he has no relationship. If he will be confident about his erection, he will get one very quickly. Okay, he will not be avoiding this. He will not be running away. So I am saying that the guys for me are the best. The best and uh, I cannot even tell how amazing it is. Okay, to have a, a guy at the studio and when you know that you're helping and you're impacting his life and you know that he is having this problem and he can tell you that he needs help is amazing. I can tell this situation, what happened today, actually. So on Saturday, I will have a photo shoot in the in 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 midday, and I got a cancellation that uh, the husband write that the lady will have a period and stuff. And I said, well, your, your cancellation is last minute. You're having shoot tomorrow. So what you want to do, you know? And she's texting me back that this shoot is not tomorrow, it's after tomorrow. And I confused because tomorrow is going to be another couple. And I said, yes, yes, shoot is not after tomorrow. But the husband told me the reason that cancellation is because of the period she had. Okay. And so I'm sending to her and saying that, well, if you have a period, right, so, and the shoot is actually not tomorrow, but after tomorrow, so most likely you will be okay to 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 handle it, and the shoot is not uh, uh, explicit or anything, it's just a boudoir, which means that partially naked, okay, so we can try nudes, but they are not very um, straightforward nudes, okay, they will be classic, they will be tasteful, right, there will be something what uh, majority uh, public would would see on the other website and stuff and that's what they asked for okay so this period is not going to be an issue when you're doing a making love scene when it is an issue but lady got absolutely crazy about me saying that she is losing uh, losing her deposit i mean i have a beauty professional who will be arriving on, arriving on that day and i cannot cancel those people those people have children and those people have uh, them to feed and artists usually work on friday saturday and if she is having this cancellation she cannot get uh, uh, a day's work fees and, and i cannot do this as a studio and this is not my responsibility and when they're booking a shoot Okay, they, they should take those things in account. I had some few situations only about the period thing, okay? But what I'm saying is about the lady client, okay? And then she texted me like, oh, I'm not absolutely crazy, customer service friendly and stuff. And I said, well, well I'm trying here to help you. You can reschedule once and I can compensate you the studio fee or the studio day will be lost, you know, I can do that for you, but this lady must be paid because she is a, an artist and she is the one who is, who is amazing and will be making you those looks, okay? And that's what I'm saying with those, sorry, that's what I'm saying with those ladies, you know, they're being uh, difficult. The ladies are the most difficult client you will get. I can tell you this because they are more demanding 
they are uh, how to say more um, aware okay of uh, beauty of uh, aesthetics of the style of the in general of the situation and they will be much more harder to please so if you are choosing which photographer you are and i know that this is very important by the gender are you woman or are you man you know and then you know for men maybe it is more natural and obvious to choose to photograph the woman okay and it is maybe different when you're photographing the man in the erotic environment right and of course for women it is more natural uh, to to choose a lady okay but just because i have this experience with so many ladies i can tell you this for nothing <laughs> the ladies is a hard work and they will make you do much far and beyond and you know what is the most maybe time consuming with the ladies is that you can please them when you will provide the post-production part okay so the whole photo shoot part should be easy and they 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 would love a makeover okay they would love a makeover right and then so she said oh if i don't have anything to do it and i will have makeup and this okay then this period is not a problem you just wasted and made me nervous and i nearly canceled that lady okay and these people like you know ladies very often are like that you know and i know that i'm trying to talk as a business here and i know that you will say oh maybe you do not have those feelings and she have these periods and stuff i know about periods some people are really in pain for two days and stuff and it happens but usually you know when you're not 13 or 11 when you are not aware where your periods are in in the age like mine you or, or so you are aware of what time is your periods are you know and if you have those kind of situations you would not book the photo shoot for that time yeah and it's a very you know easy thing to think if you book a holiday to maldives would you say to uh, to uh, you know to a ticket office like i'm having a period and i cannot fly now you know, I didn't see a, a, any flight cancellation because of the period, you know, and there are so many services, uh, how to say, available regardless of this. And I know that few people suffering, but what I can tell you is that she is coming to have a photo shoot just because she knew that she is going to lose a deposit. Okay that's simple as that if i would just say to her okay i can give you a deposit back this lady my makeup artist will stay without the you know wages and my studio will be aware without the wages but the lady will be sorting out you know her ways or whatever how she wanted because she wrote in the email that she has an upcoming trip something like that she needs to go next week and plan or something you know this is not my problem that you have another trip and that's what I'm saying. After this COVID, it went absolutely crazy that people think that they can book and then they can cancel because they're not in the mood, you know, and then they book. You know, the most important, I'm not worried about my studio, seriously. The most important is that the, 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 the artist, you know, the models will be absolutely devastated. You would not know how much it means to them how much it means to me to go there and book a shoot with them instruct them talk to them explain them how they need to prepare to do that i am putting the work they don't know about this this is disgusting for me you know to go back to them and say okay now they cancel so the model is prepared for this for example free some adventure right or or some kind of like you know fantasy shoot like i say devil and 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 uh, whatever right and they are preparing for this gig okay and then someone is another will be for example upcoming now criminal and police right and so i'm preparing this for this police i bought this police hat okay and i'm thinking what kind of the outfit of the police to get so we are preparing for this and then some you know how to say some plan change or whatever mood change or or other swing you know could 
could impact other people. I'm not talking only about my studio. People are not aware that's how it is now. That's how bad it is. That they do not aware that they book other two models and they want to cancel this. And what I should do? That's why I am taking now a deposit so at least I can with dignity say, sorry, keep your deposit, the client canceled. Okay? Because they looked at the model, they choose the model, I've instructed the model, I've prepared the model, I put the whole work in it and they are, oh, okay, you know what, let's do it at the end of the summer or something like that. But what I should go and say to the model, it's not nice, you know, it is not nice. Like today, for example, this cancellation happened, I had another shoot, I mean the guy who wanted to take that Saturday. And because the shoot was in the middle of the day, I can't just start shooting in the seven o'clock in the morning, you know, like seriously, you know, erotic photo shoot for a couple at, you know, starting eight o'clock in the morning. I don't do this times, you know. <laughs> so they booked a best slot, okay? I cannot fit anything there. And, and after that shoot, which I would have with the couple, I am absolutely exhausted because I'm giving myself all, okay? I'm giving everything. So I'm not booking another shoot just because I would not be able to jump around that much. I'm not a robot, okay? I can't give that much, right? So I'm not booking those people and now she is thinking to, to, to cancel because of the period, but actually period started and it's not going to affect that day. But because she's losing, excuse me, 100 pounds, she wants to disrupt the whole situation and the whole thing. So I am aware now of these people, after COVID especially, because before that, I hardly had a consolation. I hardly had a consolation. The life was much easier and everything was much simpler. And now you need to think because the certain clients, like I say, they do not cancel. And majority of cancellations come from the woman or the guys who cannot afford this fantasy anymore. That they decided or planned the huge big plan which cost that much with this, with this, with that, whatever. Okay, the, the biggest projects they have and, and then they realize that, oh no, oh no, actually, you know, I can, I can handle it. And I am not taking any more payments, you know, because... It was a situation when I was fine to take repayments after the shoot. And once I had the situation that I was like, you know, this bouncer, bouncer on his door all the time, bouncer of his door. Do I need to feel this way when I had this photo shoot? The guy had, he paid the models in full, okay? He booked two models. He paid in full. He paid me a deposit, which is fine. He paid even makeover for, for the models, okay? But then the remaining balance was a problem for him to pay. And he was like saying, oh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting till I will give you the whole amount, give you the whole amount. Excuse me, I was waiting for three months. And every time I need to go and remind you, is this is my job? Do I feel like an artist or do I feel like, you know, this terrorist who is keep reminding him and saying, come on, this is like quite a long time. Are you planning or you're not planning what is going on and what's happening and why I even should do this? Okay, so I, I do not release the images before the payment, although I still do. I'm lying. <laughs> I still do because I trust my clients. Seriously, I absolutely trust. I release my images unless, you know, how to say, there is something like that. You know, when are the models involved and in case people will not pay me, then I would not release uh, the images before I will not get a full payment, okay? Because that is serious, okay? People can take just advantage and, how to say, help themselves to my artwork, you know, and, and especially when there are other people involved, I feel very much, um, how to say, obliged, you know, very much uh, responsible for this photo shoot and for everything. So that is the whole big video about talking uh, about nude photography, how it's going on real for real in the studio, who are the best clients, what happens with the men during the men photo shoot? 
and what happens with the ladies a little bit okay so thank you so much for watching love you kiss you bye